A barrier to religious growth is the inability to differentiate between belief and faith. A genuine and authentic faith is always going to be beyond belief. It's the realization that our life is related to the ultimate. When we experience that dimension of existence, when we're coming from that place, we will have moved beyond belief to a different place. It's a place of freedom and it's a place of faith. Faith would suggest you have complete trust or confidence that there is something, someone, an essence, a presence. Belief is a little bit different. It's something that one accepts as true or real, a firmly held opinion, perhaps, or a conviction. If you want to get into the deeper meanings of belief, you can drown into philosophical depths of the word and word play. It's living and it's all powerful. It animates everything from the nearest rock to the furthest galaxy and to the nearest person to you. I believe in this spirit, which is living in, in all things, a presence. One, I studied for years the idea of oneness, and I can't give you years of study, but I could suggest you could contemplate that word for a long time. One. One indestructible, absolute, self-existent thing. That thing's everywhere present. It's a presence that's never an absence. This one, Holmes wrote, manifests itself in and through everything, everyone, every place. There's not a spot where it is not. It's a presence that's never an absence. The universe can be thought of as its body. All that you can possibly imagine and see and experience is the logical and necessary outcome of its infinite self-knowingness. Again, there's not a spot where we used to say God is not, and I will say spirit. Everything, everything, everything is spirit. He went on to say, I believe in the incarnation of spirit in everything and all beings and every person is an incarnation of this one spirit. In terms of the concept of personal immortality, Holmes went on to say, I believe in the eternality, the immortality, and the continuity of the individual soul, which is ever and ever expanding. We don't know all things about it, but this is where we come from. We believe in the individual soul forever and ever expanding. Holmes spoke of heaven on earth by saying, I believe that heaven or the sense of heaven is within us and that I experience it to the degree that I become conscious of it. Now, there's many people I've known in my life who actually live this way. And you can't touch them because they, they got it. They live, move, and they have their being in a sense of awareness of God. They know that God is all that there is, and they practice this, they know this. And you can learn a lot from people. Holmes said, find me one person who's so redeemed from the bondage of self, and I will find the redeemer of my soul. Because that person is communing with life and knows that every encounter is a holy encounter.